All right, this will be part two of my toy collection. Sorry for the shadows. And there's one of them that I picked up uh, several years ago. That's, of course, the Munster's Dragula. That's the one that Grandpa drove. And there's a, uh, this is a Hot Wheels. Shell gas station includes one car. And uh, just play with it, I guess. It's just a something somebody gave me for to collect. 1998. And then my dad gave me this several years ago. It's a Texaco biplane. I've got another one that's called a tri motor, but I don't know where it is. There's a Hot Wheels 53 Corvette. There's a Dinty Moore truck. That's an antique tin litho salt shaker or pepper shaker. There's some McDonald's Hot Wheels. Those are really popular back in the day. There's Cornet. That's another McDonald's. And then uh, back up in here. There is a Torino, Talladega Torino, new in the package. There's a Batmobile I've never put together. A friend of mine got me that for Christmas. And then, of course, the Munsters coach. Couldn't be with anywhere in a collection without that. Been sitting for many years. I think these were 2000s. And there's an action pack. It has a little truck and a man and stuff like that. And then there's these were kind of rare at the time. Let's see if I can get that out of there and show it to you. It's a Hot Wheels anniversary. There's that dang cat again. Uh, this is uh 30th anniversary pin and the twin mill red line. Pretty neat. Let's see what year. 1997. These were in Walmart one time and they just had a shopping cart full of them and they weren't putting them out. So we grabbed them. I can't remember. They were pretty cheap. They'd gone on sale. There's an Eleanor Mustang from the Gone in 60 Seconds. The original Tony or Toby Palicki. Tony Halicki, Toby Halicki. That was the original. And then there's the Monkey's Mobile, which is uh, another one that's hard to find. And then there's the car. That was a late 70s, early 80s movie. And then right here, there's your American Graffiti 55 Chevy. Which is a good one and then there's a uh, Ed Roth I don't know it was only $11 but pretty nice oh there's my there's my pepper shaker back there and then Have lots of matchbox, lots of various state of repair or brokenness. There's a lot of yesteryears. There's some various ones there. There's some Hot Wheels. There's some with missing roofs. That's a nice one too. Too bad the roof is missing. And of course, fire trucks and various things. There's a combine, class combine. There's another one of those trailers with the missing roof. And there's just various little bits and pieces. There's a pretty rare one there with Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse. That's a toy. Uh, not sure what that was. Destructo. 
I can get it to focus. Well, I can look it up. I don't know what that is. Hot smoker. Some sort of a Dodge Charger. There's a uh, broken Hot Wheels. Not sure what that fits. Got them all like that. There's a little tractor. Missing wheel, of course. Wouldn't be a complete collection without a broken wheel, would it? Oh, there's those mini, mini racers. There's another matchbox. It's probably a tipper dump and it's tippers missing. There's probably another piece off of one of those semis. And there's a bunch of Hot Wheels posters. Oh, and there's an Australia, all Ford Day in Australia. It's down in, uh, this is from a friend in Geelong. Geelong, Australia, which is outside Melbourne. They have this all Ford Day. I guess there's a factory down there that they produced Fords for a long time. I think they're closed by now. And here's something that might interest you. Mad Max, Road Warrior, and the Enemy Car. That's the one that had the turbochargers on it. And there's, of course, Mad Max. Don't remember where I got that. I think that came from Australia. It says Warner Brothers, but uh, I think it did come from somewhere. I think it says where it was made. I don't think it was made in China. Anyway, very interesting toy. Leave it in the package, of course. And then back over here, some more Matchbox. Now these are a little bit better shape. Yeah, these are these are ones that are a little more complete. You've got your Volkswagen bus. Your boat and your trailer and there's your pickup with all your animals in it which is a pretty rare one that one looks like it's never been played with there's your motorcycle and then there's the trailer with I think cows and there's one with a boat on it those all came from I think Kentucky and of course, there's your uh, first series or second series that the tires love to pop off. They're down inside there. And that one's always missing the camper shell. Looks like it's about to come off. And there's one of those campers, one of those camp trailers, usually missing the roof, which. You can see it's ready to come off of there. Pink trailer. That pink trailer is pretty common. I think there's a green trailer and that one's really hard to find. Lots of neat stuff. And let's see down here. Let's see what I can show you. Oh, we've got uh, Starskin Hutch's Grand Torino, which I thought was pretty neat. And uh, there's a Shelby GT500. I got that as an award when I went on a cruise from Ford. They gave us that and they gave us a new Mustang. I don't know where the new Mustang is. I may have it in storage. And looking back up here, there's that uh, Thunderbird. It's a Hot Wheels edition. Big car. And then there's uh, one that needs a serious attention as far as cleaning. American Muscle. There's a Plymouth Roadrunner, 69. That's pretty neat. And then there's a couple of my favorites. Shooting Star. Which is, of course, from Speed Racer, 1968, 66 through 68, I believe. 
And then uh, that's one of my favorites there is the Ford GT40 Joeff Evolution Le Mans. And uh, after I had gotten that one, I had done some research on it. And that one actually is a very good detail uh, model. Those are not cheap. Uh, there's a couple of gas station pumps from Standard. One's a salt, one's a pepper. And then <clears throat> this one is, oh well, look, there's a Beatles card. And it's been signed by Paul McCartney. I don't know what year, some time ago. But there's 427 Cobra. And then there's two more Majorettes. This one, my father in law, before he died, he signed up for credit card and got that and gave it to me, gave it to my wife. And. Make a little room here and I can get over because it's a little crowded down here. And there's another 69 Mustang. Not sure exactly why I have that one, but it's really nice. I'll move that aside and then I'm going to show you this other collection here. Again, apologize for the uh, shadows. Move. Uh, Paul McCartney out of the way. Oh, there's Herbie. And then there's Tim the Tool Man Taylor with his uh, Harley Davidson powered lawnmower. And there's Al from that one TV show, Home Improvement, back in the 90s. And then there's, of course, there's another one of those. Uh, if you can see it, that's. I'll get that out of the way. 32 Ford Vicky. And these were pretty interesting too. They weren't not selling these. These were actually in, uh, I believe these were in KB Toys. They were going out of business. Either TGNY or KB Toys. And they were just sitting in the back and weren't marked. And we got them up there. And I think they charged us a dollar a piece for these. They do have barcodes on them. And they're from, oh, let me see if I can get it to say what year they were. 1998. I think they're popular. I think they're around, but. Now, this collection here is. I'll make sure that you can see all these. Because these are very interesting. So you got GT40, you got the 49 Custom, there's a 14 Model T, there's a Thunderbird, there's a Mercury, Sport Coupe, and there's a 58 Edsel, it's really neat. Now, Ford Motor Company. Alright, so... What this was, heart and soul collection is what they called it. And there's a certificate of authentic authenticity. Okay, so what this was, is this was uh, my reward for uh, being in the Ford Masters program. As a matter of fact... Those two trophies are from the Ford Masters program. Uh, they started out as technician specialists. And once you got all three trophies, or two trophies, I can't remember, then you got your senior masters and you got to go on a uh, vacation with Ford, all expenses paid. And this was, they, they goofed up on my certifications. They certified me. For an engine class, and just as soon as the engine class was over, this is back when the 4.0 Ford Explorer with the uh, single overhead cam, the one with all the cam cassettes that failed, uh, 
they they certified us and then they came out with the engine class with the updated uh certification on that engine and in the meantime they sent us uh this set because i had actually gotten the engine class and was headed towards my senior masters well then they decertified me and uh certified my prodigy underneath me he got the class and the senior masters and i didn't i got it later but uh, of course he didn't get a cruise out of it either i got a cruise to mexico and all kinds of neat stuff but there's all these cars they, they're really neat i mean they're just very full of detail you can just see if my camera would focus a little bit better it's not doing a very good job and i apologize but you know that's a lincoln continental 41 it's beautiful very nice collection as a matter of fact a friend of mine he's selling his collection he got the same thing on a the same type of thing that i did where he was able to get the senior masters program and he got the set as well so there's part two and i will try to do a part three here pretty soon